What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Sermon, the Sermon's Domain .com. Um, If you're a regular right off the bat, you notice that my partner in crime, Reese, is missing. He is. We're just on different schedules right now, so we haven't had time to um, link up. Anyways, today I'll be doing my first solo review for Snoop Dogg's Bush album. Um, it's a collaborative album with Pharrell producing it all. An album that. I didn't know that I wanted. Like, over the years, I've heard Snoop and Pharrell do amazing things. Beautiful, Let's Get Blown. Uh, you know, the list goes on. It feels like every Snoop album since, like, 2002 has had a Pharrell or a Neptune production on it. And um, this album is short and sweet. It To me, it feels like a continuation of Pharrell's Girl from last year. Um, you know, Snoop is not trying to rap on this. It's more out of the box, it's more feel good music, it's you know, funk, it's pop, it's R and B, it's 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 still rap, there's still, you know, rap in there. It's all bundled into one and that's the one thing that I really liked about the album is because it could be like the album of the summer. It has that potential, you know, that feel good vibe. Um, it's something that you can play in your car at a barbecue, you know, or if you just want to chill at the house. It, it's a multi-purpose album. And it's great to see Charlie Wilson all over it. He's only credited on Peaches and Cream, but you can hear him on so many pros. You can hear him on um, a number of records on the album, just, you know, doing like ad-libs and little uh, additions here and there. Um, I was actually disappointed in the Stevie Wonder feature. I thought, Snoop Dogg and Stevie Wonder, that's going to be incredible. But then it was sort of like the Drake and Stevie Wonder collaboration where, you know, Stevie is just doing the harmonica. He's not, you know, actually singing on it. Um, he may or may not have, like, little background vocals here and there, but Pharrell does the hook, and um, it predominantly sounds like Pharrell doing it. And um, Edibles with T.I., I, I love the sample in it. At, the t at this very moment, I'm not entirely sure what the sample was but I heard it from 50 cents be a gentleman and recognized it immediately and I like that and I think T.I. has the best rap feature on the album he's one of the three rappers on there Kendrick Lamar and Rick Ross are the other two they're on I'm Your Dog and that was probably the only record that I feel could have been scraped I'm not a big fan of it I don't think I don't know I'm not a big Rick Ross feature fan. I feel like he doesn't go in as much as he should. And Kendrick, he was just, it just didn't feel like it fit the song. I was disappointed in it because, you know, Kendrick has always been killing it, but it just felt like a record that didn't fit. And I just think Bush is a, is a good album overall. I mean, despite a, a few flaws, this is a wonderful album. Snoop Dogg really outdid himself with this. I like the fact that Snoop is 43, I believe he's 43, and still progressing, still trying new things. You can't be the artist that you were, you know, back in 90, 92, 93, you know, that whole doggy style era, because it went into ensured longevity. Snoop Dogg is morphed into an icon because of his ability to do new things and to succeed at them, you know. But at the same time, it's also interesting just looking at it because if, some, if like, say, like, a Chief Keef tried to do something what Snoop Dogg's done over the years, it wouldn't have that same impact, you know. So, I salute Snoop for that. And um, if I had to give it a rating, I'd give Bush easily a 4.5. If I'm Your Dog wasn't included or if it was reworked more as a solo record, or if they took it off and included something else, I think it'd be a, a five. Um, but 4.5 is definitely what I'm going to give it. I'm going to say it has potential to be that summertime album. I don't have any other albums that really fit into that warm weather, that fun, positive vibe. Bush does that. So, first of all, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to follow me on Twitter at Summers Domain, and even though Reese is not here, follow him at Evil Marsupials. Very funny guy to follow, and we'll be back doing reviews soon. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know what you thought of my first solo review. I'm kind of nervous. Um, 
And then once you hear Bush, once you pick it up in stores, on iTunes, wherever, let me know what your comments are. Let me know if you liked the album, what you didn't like about the album. And um, once again, thank you for watching.